An Iranian Turkish gold trader alleged Erdogan helped Iran avoid sanctions. The gold trader was testifying against a Turkish banker in U.S. federal court. Erdogan's comments came in a televised speech to members of his AK party Saturday, on the heels of Reza Zarab's Thursday testimony in U.S. federal court in New York. Zarab, an Iranian Turkish gold trader, claimed Erdogan was linked to a scheme to help Iran avoid U.S. sanctions by laundering Iranian funds from oil and gas sales through Turkish banks. It was the first time Erdogan had been implicated in the U.S. criminal case over Iran's violations of international sanctions. Zarab pleaded guilty last month to bank fraud and money laundering, and admitted to running the international scheme. He's now testifying against a Turkish banker on trial. During a televised speech to members of his AK party on Saturday, Erdogan said virtual courts in the United States had no jurisdiction over Turkey. Erdogan went on to accuse the U.S. courts of being made up of lousy Fito Fadel, a terrorist organization representatives, a reference to Fadel Agulin, a Muslim cleric living in Pennsylvania after he went into a self-imposed exile in 1999 and his supporters. Erdogan has previously claimed Gulen, who has loyal followers in Turkey, was the architect of last year's attempted coup. Gulen has denied any involvement. On Friday, Turkish law enforcement moved to seize assets belonging to Zarab, who is under investigation by the country's Terror and Organized Crime Bureau of the Istanbul Public Prosecutor's Office, according to state-run Anadolu News Agency. Speaking Sunday at an AK party congress, without naming the United States or Zarab, Erdogan said Turkey did not violate the UN sanctions on Iran. What did we do? We purchased natural gas from a country within our agreement so that our citizens will not get cold in the winter and the economy will keep running, he said, adding Turkey strictly adhered to the sanctions. Sorry, but we will not bend our knees over this blackmail, Erdogan said. CNN's Jose Paglieri contributed to this report.